take a look at my head area. I've been having this, it was intensely painful at first of past maybe three days ago, but then it's now low grade. I've Ooh, been trying to cut forward. Um, just a he um, headache. That, headache. Yeah. What, what part of your head are you having the headache? Um, around the Ajna area, um, forehead. Like up high or between the eyebrows? But right now it's between the eyebrows. Um, initially, it started out the entire top of my head, like the crown area. Um, yeah, you, you have cords on your uh, sex chakra, your Ming Men, and big old one between your eyebrows. Uh, oh, you okay. actually have one on the crown a little bit as well. How, how about, um, let me let me just cut them for you. Thank you so much. Worst one is on the Ming Men. And I see. So um, it, it's female, and it looks like it's somebody from work. Okay, not mm -hmm. not a client. Oh, uh, yeah, work could be here. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's probably a client. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but like it's work related. It's not in your personal life or something. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. But you, you probably know who it is. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, just think of somebody who's like not getting their way, upset, aggressive, whatever. That, that's that's your problem. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, blew them, like blew blew them quite a bit. Think of them and do um hiss up. Okay. And yeah, you can do hiss up in my pocket the last yeah. few days. Yeah. yeah, like and the and the thing is, is the. You know, because when somebody projects negativity, you know, it's not like they're going, I'm going to project negativity at you and I hope you feel this. They're just being emotional. Like, you know, they're just, they're a little worked up about something. They're not getting their way. They're reacting to something. More times than not, it's to something in their past, not even about you. Yeah, and, I think um, they have... Severe but once it starts to to like be projected, then there's like a bounce back and forth between your body and their body. Right. And the thing that's really good is hyssop diminishes that bouncing back and forth. So it just it's like it calms your body down because a lot of times what happens is they project something. You might feel it for a week, and it might feel like they're upset at you for a week, but they were upset at, at you for a few hours, and then they moved on. But they left you like have <laughs> that reaction. You know what I mean? That's a it's a very common thing. And so, you know, a, a lot of times they move from situation to situation just being upset at different things. Right. So that feels very normal to them. It does not feel normal to you. Like you, you know what I mean? Right. And, right. Um, I mean, the headache is a perfect example, is you know, it's just a byproduct of the agitation sometimes it's not even their emotional body it's um the agitation in their um immune system you know a lot uh -huh. of the projection actually comes from the same mechanisms that fight viruses and bacteria. they just uh -huh. it's like the point of the spear and and so the the issue like why this is important is like okay you know right now you have a headache but it could, it could also be that over a period of time, you know, dealing with people who kind of wear you down like this can cause you to get sick a little bit easier, can cause you to be fatigued a little bit more, can cause you to like, you know, have reactions to other situations that have nothing to do with them, but they just kind of wear you down a little bit. For and sure. So cleaning, cleaning that stuff up is... Um, I mean, honestly, it's a little bit of a full-time job, 
depends on what kind of work that you do, but given the kind of work that you do, um, you know, it, it, I mean, I mean, you're you're a seasoned veteran with all this stuff. You, it's just it's, it's just the things that happen. It, you know, I wouldn't even read a lot into it when, when the person's doing something. You know, I I had a positive interaction with this person one time. And when I left, it felt like an argument, you, you know, huh. wasn't, wasn't verbally, but like physically it felt like we had been arguing. And I was like, because that's where their body's at. Like that's the state of their body. Like even a positive conversation is full of stress and um, uh, being adversarial and like all these things. And I was like, oh my God, like even dealing with this person, like on a good Good situation it's <laughs> nasty and so you, you know it's just one of those things that especially given your kind of work or, or things where you're dealing with you know patient people, yeah pa pa people but where you're having to make decisions or somebody has to make a deadline or you know something like that it's it's always just going to be a thing it's like mm -hmm. going out into the garden and gardening Right, you, you know, it's great, but you got to shower and and change your clothes when you come out of the garden because you've been down in the dirt. You know, it's the same thing for work. So, and so, Greg. So I've been trying to cut cords, right? Because I knew it was a cord. Mm -hmm. I mean, I felt some relief, but not really. What What am I not doing right um so, sometimes the issue is they're pretty wound up and sometimes it might feel that you need to resolve it so like if it's that you feel that there's some need to resolve it um uh, like talk it out with the person no but but just oh. like it could be talking out it could be that you know, you got to fix the situation or come up and and address their agitation or whatever demands they're making in the situation. Sometimes that is it. But mm. if if that doesn't get it, I mean, you always want to like kind of clean the cords, to, you know, so use that their cord blend or something like that before you go through and do rue or, you know, clean them up substantially with with you know cleaning them energetically and uh -huh. and then cutting them but um when when they're super upset it doesn't matter how neutral you are or, or how much you've tempered your body it still is a lot of energy coming at you right. and so um things that can calm that down would be like doing the blue healer or you know one of the dark blue oils like yarrow or german chamomile and yeah. think of the other person as you inhale it got it spikenard would also work vetera would probably also work um, valerian would work um things that are really like sedating Ah, okay. You know, the, the blue is calming and soothing the agitation. The spikenard, valerian, very sedating. So it just kind of sedates that back and forth. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so sense. Much. Yeah. Thank you. And, and, and I mean, like sometimes it might not even be that they're upset at you. They might just be excited. I think they've they've moved on from the being upset, it, but it just... Yeah. But, but it could be a so positive, intense. it could be about yeah. like a positive situation, like, hey, you just won the lottery and you're gonna get a payout in in <laughs> two weeks. They're gonna <laughs> grind on you until they get that check in their hand. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's not necessarily always a um a negative situation. Got and it. So um, you know. People's energy bodies are in different places and the, th the thing, I guess the point I'm trying to make is when when somebody's lower emotions can go really low and be neg really negative when they're excited, it still feels kind of negative. 
like it's almost just two sides of the same coin. It's still kind of not very cozy. Yes. You, you know what I mean? I mean, it's yeah. it's usually people who um, have a very unregulated emotional body, um, like in the workplace. Like you, you would see it a lot there where they just practice aggression or they practice you know, pitching a fit or something like that. Um, yeah, it's usually not people, you know, even like your clients that are coming to get work done, their emotional body is going to be more regulated than the general public's emotional. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? So um, you can always bless below their feet as well. You know, because part of Part of why they behave the way they do is the energies that they attract. And some of that comes in the sex chakra. Some of it comes through the soles of your feet. And so by blessing the soles of, you know, not the soles of their feet, but just below the soles of their feet, it, it softens the energy coming into them, makes them feel better, and um, improves how they interact with you. Got it. Yeah, I use that one all the time. Like okay, the, yeah, I'll put a reminder of myself. Yeah. Like I, I mean, I use that all the time for healing. Like um, oh okay. Like I do it like right off the bat before. I, um, like when when I used to do healing all the time, I had a couple like little things that I would always do at the beginning of the session. That was one of them, and the materialization breath. You'd have them do the materialization? No, I, I would do it. Like I would think of them and then do the materialization breath because it brings in light to the situation. Blessing below their feet also brings light into them. So it's just okay. like right there, you're already bringing in light. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let me know how that goes. Yes, I will. Maybe blue, maybe dark blue, that person right now. Whoever yep, yeah. doing it. I'll, nice. I'll write you more. <laughs> Thank you, Greg.